Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformers Generation Selects uh, TTGS 04 Golf, or as he was known in the US, Scalor. Yeah, it's a new version of a Seacon here, which, uh, yeah, it's um, a little difficult to get your hands on right now, but for now we'll go ahead and look at this box, which, yes, this is the uh, Hasbro Pulse release. Yeah, so it's got this little slipcover, which is very much kind of a uh, masterpiece esque, you know, the just yeah, very plain looking generation selects, uh, Takara Tomi, all that stuff, and just basically just the Transformers written all over it with a little barcode at the back and little copyrights in there. But of course, this is not the normal box. You also got the uh, actual box. But yeah, this has a little wireframe of a uh, Golf on robot in beast mode there. And a grid pattern, and everything, and warnings in the bottom, and uh, just cardboard. That's the same on this side too. And then Decepticon logo, and more warnings, including a uh, "Don't eat it." Yeah, and, like, this uh, cardboard box, which yeah, transforms generously. Lex, just cardboard, just patterns and words, more or less. Decepticon logo though, and yeah, it opens up, and inside you got this is where the figure is with the. Uh, yeah, this is that's like on logo here and an upside down Autobot logo, Generation Selects logo there. I'm not sure why it's upside down. I think something's screwed up. But yeah, uh, guys, yeah, it's just kind of weird how it's, that's the case. But yeah, that's the packaging. And inside the packaging also is the instructions, which are pretty decent. Um, I mean, it's not a difficult figure to figure out in January, generally. I've done the layout a little differently because I do a lot of the accessory stuff at the very end of the instructions for all the modes, which I kind of find a little weird, but hey, it's not bad. But uh, yeah, this is Golf. He is a Kolokanth, I think that's how you pronounce it. I can never remember. I've only seen, it's one of those words you only see ever written out. I don't ever hear people say it out loud. But yeah, he is, well, that except well, with arms and legs because they kind of do that sort of thing. And yeah, he's a uh, blue with a very pale pink and a hot pink with the eyes and everything fish monster basically with all big old silver teeth and everything a little Decepticon badge tampoed right there pretty neat looking actually I feel um very kind of little, nice little mold based off blot which was one of my favorite of the Terracon mode molds back in power of the primes so he's yeah he's based on that mold with some some minor well, actually not really mine. I would say basically some retooling mostly around the head, which slash robot backpack and the well head sculpt itself. Other than that, and I guess the forearms. Other than that, it's actually pretty much Blot's mold, including some leftover stuff from Blot. And you can see, yeah, he's a fish monster thing. He's got some articulation. His legs can fold forward and back and a little outward. There's a little soft ratchet there. No knee, but the feet can move forward and back as well. On uh, nine, this one is kind of loose. It's tighter than it was, but you notice possibly um, when you move it up a bit, sometimes it wants to start to slide back down again. I fixed that with floor polish, but some people, apparently I'm hearing that's a fairly common problem, but not super, not everyone has it. It's also these arms can move up and down. That's pretty much it. And the mouth can open and close pretty well. So you got that. And I guess you can move the fin up and down if you want. And the tail, I guess you can do that. But that's nearly not supposed to be for particulation, for something else. Yeah. Pretty neat little monster mode. Um, he also has the accessories, which you can attach to him. Um, he's, of course, got his guns, uh, twin cannons. You can just peg those in these peg holes on the sides right here. You know, make him more dangerous. I mean, as if the claws and teeth aren't enough. Now you're not safe at any range. You could uh, take the combiner hand, and if you want to store it on here, you could, there's these pegs back here. You could take the thumb hole and uh, peg it on over that, like this, if you want. And the final bit of storage, which is sword, which, yeah, you can take this and, well, if you didn't already have it open, open this up right here. And take the peg of the sword and just peg it in, it'll store underneath. Kind of limits is uh, where you can put the feet, but hey. You can do that if you want, and I guess you could point it forward if you want it pointing out, but your choice. So yeah, everything, is, all of his accessories can store in the, the fish mode here, which is which is nice. I mean, I think it works pretty well other than his hand. I think the hand looks a little silly, but there's really nowhere else to put it, so there you go. 
And transformation, he has a, well, four modes because he's a Seacon. So first thing um, first is take this whole fin piece and unpeg it and move it off. That's yes, parts forming, which I guess is fine. I'm not seeing people complain about it, so that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's, so you take that off and then you take this fin piece, move it up, and then you take the legs and untab them like this and move them back like that. And you take this and move it up and out, off everything and just kind of fully extend that. And this is kind of more or less where you can get to pretty much every mode from here. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the arm mode. So to do that, I'm going to close this up as well. Take this, uh, the combiner peg, and move it out like this. If you'll say, if you want it to be the right arm, you do it like this and uh, rotate it this way. Like that. Don't accidentally undo those parts. Yeah. Take these, uh, take the fish feet, I guess, and there's little pegs here. Peg it in here. Shut that out of the way. Peg this in here. Like that. Move the feet like this. Take the arms. See those? Take the arms, move them down, and extend, um, move them down and rotate them like this. Same on this side, move it down, rotate this down. And then at the elbow, rotate it like this. So this little slot's facing backwards, I guess. And move this. Then you take these, uh, I guess, the, these arms and move them back like that. Like that. Up just a little bit. There we go. And then this this series of hinges, you want to make this fold this up so this pink piece is kind of straight up and this piece right here is flat against it when you fold it up onto the torso. And then these these tabs right here on each side will uh, go into these little slots right there, kind of. These pseudo slots. They're not full slots, but yeah. They work, they hold it in place, and yeah, more or less tilt in place. You tab those in, and then you take the arms and there's little slots on the arms and those go into little tabs on the head, giant fish head. Like, so one of the, one of the tabs and slots and th this one is a little more finicky. Then you take this piece, the fin, and you rotate this around like that. So the gun's sticking out and you want to move this out of the way so you can then take this peg and peg into one of the holes on here. Other one where it doesn't matter, I don't think that much, but this is the way they show it right here. I suppose you'd probably do it the other way if you're having the left arm. Then finally you can take the hand, flip the peg out, and peg it in. By the way, on mine I had to uh, shave this peg down a bit, just an FYI, because it was a little too big and it was kind of a little scary to put it in. Yeah, that's the arm mode. Pretty, well, we're pretty familiar with this. If you're familiar with Combiner Wars or Survivor of the Primes at all, you're pretty familiar with the arm mode type stuff. Uh, this does get a little in the way, but if you want to move the arm out, you can just move this out. Well, actually, you're supposed to put this down too, but move these out if you want to get these out of the way so you can uh, fully extend the arm because, yeah, it uh, gets in the way a little bit if you want to just have the arm straight down, but it's really easy to fix. So I'm not, I don't find it a big, big problem, to be honest. Yeah, this is a uh, arm mode, pretty straightforward. I'll probably talk more about it when I do the full combined video. And that's also when I'm gonna go ahead and put the group shot and everything in that combined video, mode video too. I don't wanna deal with that sort of stuff right now. But um, transforming it further, I guess, um, eh, leg mode, I guess, yeah. And put that, take that aside. Um, go ahead and just move this out of the way. You can actually, you're supposed to take this off and I'm actually I'm gonna go and do that, take this part off. And pretty much you can do large chunk of the transformation for like leg mode without um, untransforming most of this. You wanna yeah, move this peg back up so you can get to the head, rotate it around and then yeah, do that. So it's facing up like this, rotate this around. So it's facing this way, unpeg the fish legs, open up the lower legs like this and collapse that in, like that close, close it back up. And I'll repeg the fish legs onto the, I guess, robot legs. Repeg. Cooperates there. Repeg that. Uh, take this, peg this back in. Right here. Move this back down. And that's the 
That's more or less the leg mode. But since you probably have, have this guy, you probably also got Turtler, which I, other review. Because yeah, this is well. Because yeah, it's a. There's the foot from Turtler, and that just pegs in. I'll talk about this dig air again, but yeah, that peg is a little iffy. Yeah, leg mode, and of course this can peg in. You flatten that the thumb out and just peg in the back, and there you go. More stability if you need it. But yeah, leg mode. Pretty straightforward right there. And yeah, you can take that. And finally, the gun mode, which from here is actually really easy. You pretty much leave it as is and take the head, let's see, take this, rotate this around, turn this head back around and then rotate this for, uh, as if you're going to arm mode, take the, the cannons, there's two tabs on the top of them. You tab that together, tab them together like this. Peg it in here, drain that out, and then take this hand and you can uh, remove that piece in which yeah, it's still compa compatible with Titan Masters and Prime Masters and all that stuff. And then plug this in right here. There you go, gun mode, um, or a gun mode, which, yep, that's also pretty straightforward right there. Yeah, so I'm glad these transformations are actually pretty simple. It's like, yeah, it's actually a pretty neat little gun. Actually, I, I, well, not little, I guess, but yeah, pretty neat. I'm not entirely sure how he's supposed to hold it. I suspect it's actually going to be, it's going to peg into the hand. Or possibly that this is going to, this is going to peg into the combined mode hand or whatever he's going to, I'm not sure how they want you to do it yet. I don't have the full set. Other people do. They'll probably be able to tell you. Because the full set will be coming over the course of this next month, I guess, for me. Yeah, and you got, I guess, four gun barrels right there. Which is nice and threatening. And I guess if you really want to, you can kind of fake a bayonet of sorts by, I guess, plugging this into here. I mean, it's not a very effective bayonet, but hey, it's a bayonet of sorts. I just, yeah, I wish I wish there was something. I know this is for also for the sword mode, for the combined mode, but I also wish there was just a way to just, you know, like put it under here and like as a bayonet or something. But there isn't, which sucks, but eh, what can you do? But yeah, going to robot mode from here, it's just simple as taking that, unpegging it. I'll unpeg this from there. Uh, un yeah, un remove this from the combiner peg. Take this combiner peg and move it up. Rotate the head around. Take the fish feet, unpeg them from, from the sides. Open up the legs like this. Extend them out fully. Close them back up and make sure to do it right with the tabs in place and everything. Repeg the fish bag legs back in the sides, like that. Separate the legs, rotate it around at the waist. Untab the arms from the backpack. There's someone yeah. Tab the arms from the backpack. Fix the backpack if you need to. Rotate the forearms around, so the ball joints facing forward, and flip the fists out. Which fists are a little stubborn, getting out of these. Uh, Getting out sometimes they're a bit stiff coming out and then this one is stiff coming out and then loosens up when you actually got extended which is annoying but other than that it's a decent robot mode because it's blocked i mean it's basically the block mode i mean seriously it's blocked to the point of like it actually has still has the pegs on here for a blots backpack they're still there because they didn't bother remolding but yeah He's got new, I believe, I'm not sure if the, these parts of the arms are new, but I know the forearms are new, the head's new, and the backpack's new. Everything else is just blocked but recolored. So there's that bit. Yeah. Um, great robot mode, I have to say. Oh, yeah, and could take this part and uh, fold this up. Another thing is I've noticed sometimes this untabs a little bit. Just by jostling, but yeah. Um, but yeah, great looking robot mode. I think the color, the colors are great. Again, you got more of that real pale pink, the hot pink and blue, a gold face with red visor. It's a little Decepticon logo there. The yellow, yellow stripes, you know, really good. Uh, it just kind of shows its age a little bit now, I guess, because compared to like Siege or what, Earthrise because, well, lack of ankle tilts on a deluxe class figure. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, the backpack doesn't hor horribly 
make it too bad. You know, the whole background's not horrible, honestly. Com you know, all things considered, I mean, it does make him lean back a little bit in some cases, but it doesn't take much to fix it because this is fairly hollow, so it's not that heavy, which is good for design. Yeah, you can kind of fake a, uh, I guess, Hulk hand mode of sorts by moving this down. I mean, it, you are faking it, but, you know, still you can kind of get away with it. By the way, uh, um, the other thing which I forgot to mention with the arm mode, which is, yeah, you can do either arm because uh, they have this little hinge here so you can swap it around rather than just having two thumbs on every hand, which is great. And also the hands actually are individually, yeah, artic the fingers are artic individually articulated. Yeah. Fortunately, the thing is in robot mode, there's no real good place to store this thing. Um, not that I can find. Nothing that, we're, that doesn't really, you know, mess up other than, yeah, you can just try to prime armor it, I guess. <laughs> you can try. It doesn't look great. You sure can try, though. <laughs> Looks worse than before. But, yeah, um, once again, though, accessories, same ones. You can split these apart and... Um, have them hold them in both hands. Like so yeah, you can have them do that. I mean, you can also kind of do, you know, one double barrel blaster, but it's one of those weird things where it's either A, it's uh, kind of tall, or B, it's uh, he's holding it weirdly. But yeah, you can do that if you want. Sword, you can have that. Peg it in like there. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to do it like that because then you're just showing a hollow blue bit which you don't want yes yeah this gun the fin the fin also becomes a gun you can hold that but as yes, you're probably noticing this is why i'm showing in this hand in particular is uh yeah this wrist you see that it's uh it's really tight when you're it's folded up but once you get to this point it's super loose to the point of i have uh just had you know holding this gun which isn't even that heavy and if i can just get it in the problem is yeah i've had him hold this gun and he'll just you know just it doesn't take much to make it well, no. Yeah, so you doesn't take much to uh, make it flop down. And the third thing is, again, it's really tight down here, so I'm a little worried about just trying to floor polish it, so I'm not sure about that. Um, this one's also a little floppy, but not as floppy. So it's a little frustrating that's the case, which, yeah, it's really annoying because it's difficult to arm them up enough if you want to do that. And um, he's also got this peg up here, so if you want to have, like, I don't know. Yeah, if you want to have a uh, head cannon... And this nice thing is this, you know, tilts up so it can actually do that or whatever. So that's, that's, that's another peg for you to use if you want. I've also, uh, sometimes stored these guns back here. I guess, I guess this, you can have them as sort of a uh, thruster packs, you know, for like maybe use underwater and yeah, just little thrusters of sorts, whatever helps with the storage a little bit. You know, the only thing is again, the hand is just difficult to store. Again, though, yeah, these, these, the only other thing is, yeah, these tabs right here, again, just don't stay, it doesn't stay tabbed in super well, unfortunately. But other than that, yeah, it's a good looking design and articulation though, uh, heads on a ball joint, so left and right, a little tiny bit of up and down though, but not a whole lot because of, yeah, not because of the design, there's not a whole lot of anything besides left and right. I mean, technically has waggle, but it's barely there. I mean, you can't have them look down a little bit with that, but. Makes them look weird. Ball jointed elbows, though, or not elbows. These are shoulders. Ball jointed shoulders, which you know, fore and back. You know, there's they're a little hindered by the back, but we're not too bad outward as well. And that's still there. That joint from blot is still there, although I think they try to make it so you don't use it. But yeah, that joint is still kind of there. Just yeah, <laughs> just no real it serves zero purpose now. It wouldn't surprise me if there's something to make sure it doesn't move too much. Uh, elbow. The elbows are ball joints, so you got the forward bend which is nice and plus this also serves as a bicep swivel wrist can do that as we saw which can help again sword poses you know it's always a good sword pose to have uh if you want them to point it you know point it out always good for swords waist can swivel pretty unimpeded it's that weird i think it's a weird slightly off kilter waist that the combiner wars guys always had yeah, and this backpack just really doesn't want to stay tabbed in right now it's really not taking much for it to untab, which is annoying because I need to hold it up here to be able to wait, move stuff down here. Hips, forward, back, a little hindered by the backpack, outward, about that far. Got a thigh swivel, knees, 90 degrees, and there you go. 
that's the articulation, which, yep, a little step back from Siege and Earthrise, but expected for these guys. And you still, again, the mold looks good. Looks good, and largely the problems are minor for me. Just some loose bits here and there. The was it this fish leg's loose? The wrists are a little loose. I'll make I'm trying to fold up also some more, like I did with this. This doesn't stay tabbed in super well in the backpack, and I had to shave down this peg. But than that, it's been pretty solid, I think. Um, and this, this, I wish there was a, like a soft, like this just spins freely, not super freely. It's it's tight, but I wish there was like a soft like click points for each of the. You know, each of the, these points, I wish there was like a soft detent to you know hold in place with both of those, but there's not. But those are a few minor problems. This is overall pretty solid breeze. Yes, and um, as yeah, here's the thing. Yes, I'm releasing or I am reviewing something that is very difficult to get your hands on because it's sold out everywhere because everyone pre-ordered it and bought it way earlier. But I think if you can find it for retail, if you can find it for retail price, which I believe was about thirty-five bucks for this one, I think I feel like it's worth it, more or less. I think it was over thirty-five dollars. Yeah, I feel it's worth it. However, um, don't overpay for it. And also, I believe Takar is teasing a, a Beast Wars two repaint that they did that they did of um, this set. Can't remember what they called that one. They, are, I believe, they're teasing that. And if it's going to basically be these molds in different colors, that's worth going for. In some fashion, I feel. So let's just use that. I probably won't get them myself, but having a version of this mold, this set, the Seacon slash that Beast Wars two Seacons. I think it's worth it. Um, so yeah, just use this as future reference if, uh, if um, for those if they come out. Yeah, uh, I, I think it's worth it personally for retail, but don't pay markup prices ever for this guy. It's not worth it that much. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it form entertaining. I hope you, you know, find a way to get this mold um, without breaking the bank. That's the problem with getting this Hasbro Pulse version. I thought this would, you know, I'd have this in January or in February. Nope, turns out I'm not getting it until April. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you, again, I hope you found it informative and entertaining. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, uh, check out the Patreon and uh, the coffee, all that stuff. Follow me on Twitter. It's at Nemesis Prime One. I'll be f doing all the C-Cons. I have them all. Um, I have Turtler. Probably see that review very shortly if you're not already. The other two are the first, the next two are on their way. The other the final two are on pre-order. I'll have them all. I'll do the combination video, and that's when I'll show them all together, just for my sake. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, um, and I'll see you. Hope hope to see you next time for the next video review.